I'm Jess Phoenix, and you're watching Scenic Science. Geologist, scientist, and really smart person, Jess Phoenix. Jess Phoenix. Jess Phoenix visited the site. This is amazing. Jess Phoenix is a volcano expert. People who have the means need to lead by example. Diversity is a strength. We're at a critical point in our planet's history. <laughs> We have to innovate, and the way that we innovate is by using science. That is how we are going to solve these problems. It's not just old white guys in lab coats. Fires, floods, hurricanes. We explore the danger lurking beneath some of California's most beautiful coastal neighborhoods. Once you have a little bit of it, you can't stop. I'm Jess Phoenix, I'm a volcanologist and the executive director of the nonprofit research organization Blueprint Earth. I don't think the message of the changing climate is one of doom and gloom. It's one of a hell of a challenge. We travel all around the world to explore the most beautiful places on our planet and explain how they got that way with science. You know, people really bond because you have to come together to solve a big problem real fast. <laughs> and how long did it take you all to realize like, okay, I think we're in the clear. We probably were here with the hoses and shovels for about 30 or 40 minutes before I was able to say, okay, it's anything left to burn, there's nothing to burn. And even that yeah, night. So I want to give you a hug. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh, thank but you. No, it's so scary. It is. People love to build close to the coastline. They get a great view, they get the ocean breeze, but what's really important is whether or not they built their house on a solid foundation. And check out those rocks. That is some serious deformation. I can see what drew me here in the first place, which is the crazy turquoise color of the lake. Um, so I'm gonna go down and investigate that a little bit. I'm suspicious of touching this because I can see that you've got, you've got some steel barrels there that are just eaten through. 0 0.26. <laughs> Um, that is extremely acidic water. You're going to see things become more environmentally friendly because no one wants uh, dirty water, dirty air, dirty soil, and we all want a clean place for our children to grow up. We've got a series of terraces on the hillside. Those terraces were formed when the ocean used to be a lot higher than it is today. So where I'm standing would have been underwater. Yellowstone area has erupted three times. Yeah. So um, about two million years ago, about um, you know 1.2 million years ago, and about 640,000 years ago. When you think about how much material would have had to have blown out uh, to cause that whole area to drop down to form the caldera, that is a ton of yeah, material. Well, wild. many, many tons. Most of the volcanoes that researchers get a chance to study and become familiar with are well-established. They're big, they're famous. We've all heard of Pompeii. We've heard of Mount St. Helens. Uh, but these volcanoes that rise from the ocean, uh, it's literally new earth being created. Thanks for watching Scenic Science. I'm Jess Phoenix. I'll see you next time.